Hi there Leo, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we are looking at April 17 through April 23 and Leos you may not consider yourself an inventor by nature or profession. You're a fire sign so you like to get things rolling but you're not as creative or industrious or patient as other signs say Aquarius or a Gemini who really have the time to sit and do these things. But your mind is poised for a very creative breakthrough. Remind yourself daily, Leos, that no problem is too complicated to figure out. No goal is too lofty for you to plot out, like, like a viable course of action and source of income. Originality is like a muscle that develops the more you use it. This skill could prove valuable on the work front where leaders are those who can both innovate and solve problems. And if anybody's a leader, of course, it's you, Leo's Leo, the lion, the king of the jungle. Now this week, April 17 to 23, you can expect more changes because the Sun and Mars move into very different astrological signs. Pluto changes direction and Venus makes yet another square to Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline. Monday, April 17 starts with a bang, but it's a nice bang with the Sun, Saturn trine. Even with Saturn retrograde, this aspect is still productive and provides a nice opportunity to harmonize your personal desires with structures that are already in place. If you don't take advantage of this Sun, Saturn trine, you can look forward to the next one in August. The sun leaves Aries on Wednesday, April 19 and moves into the methodical and passive landscape. The gifts of Taurus include stability, determination and longevity. Its faults are being stubborn and possessive. So for the next month, while the sun is in Taurus, you should begin to see projects and plans that were started under sun in Aries grow stronger and take root. The Pluto retrograde period begins on Thursday, April 20. This is a deep cleaning retrograde during which you can dig deep into your unconscious, throwing out things polluting your body, mind and soul, Leos. This is important work. However, there's no rush because this period lasts from now until the end of September. That same day, the Sun and Mercury make an inferior conjunction which can bring insights from the past or from the unconscious. Shifting gears is going to get a lot easier, Friday, April 21st, because that's when Mars exits Taurus, moving into Gemini. The frenetic energy that comes from Gemini's love of new situations, new contacts and new fascinations is the fuel, keeping this airy Mars on the go for the next six weeks. The Mars in Gemini is going to be in your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship, a really important and fun zone. So making new friends, making great new connections, people that can help you and vice versa and you know making sure that the friends you do have, that you're all on the same page, you're feeling good about things and that you have a very good strong support group around you, very very important. More on that next week. Thanks for tuning in.